So that's like, okay, so the violin is still very much like, you know, in the fight. It's not out yet, but you, it has to be reinvented almost. How does a violin player, you know, try to make a living, like, other than being in a, an orchestra, like? So most people end up, like, even if, if that's not what they really wanted, most people end up doing things like teaching violin, say, in the conservatoire or, in, like, in in private schools or just private tuition that's yeah. what most people end up doing because it's the most accessible way because it doesn't really require all these like very expensive like master classes and all this all this kind of stuff so yeah yeah it's honestly it's all about money it's a very elitist instrument like it or not unfortunately fair enough that's a, that's an interesting thing uh, <laughs> i just i was not aware of the violin like with guitar you know you can't have a guitar night at a bar someone will come and play guitar and they'll you know you don't see a lot of violinist buskers is what i'm trying the point i'm trying to make right i mean i haven't seen it's a not as common no i mean they definitely might not as common violinist. yeah all right you I, i've seen that in european cities quite a lot but yeah, it might be definitely not in the UK, to be honest. It's, it's not that present here, I don't think. And yeah, like, yeah, most people end up just moving to to either, you know, electric guitar, electric bass, kind of stuff like that. Not out of choice always, but maybe because there, there are more options. It's, it's, there's this more, yeah, there's, there's more options. You can, you know, you can have a band you can make music for any kind of media, you know, things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, it's fun to be an artist. Yeah, it's it's an interesting aspect to consider is the era that you're in. You know, I mean, I wouldn't say that the violence going downwards, but obviously it's classical music. It's not contemporary. So there's like a weird, not a weird vibe, but it has, uh, it comes with a perception, a certain baggage. And it's like coming up now, we have the electric stuff more yes. some of the classical still holding on and every now and again someone comes out with like an old school you know viking chant track and that kicks off but yeah it's an interesting thing to consider of like the how society evolves markets evolve and the musical world so it moves yeah. on to a new instrument and you're like trying to keep up or learn 100 yeah, percent. and to this day you 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 still get people that are trying to do something different with the violin Mm. Um, you also get people that you know use the the violin in, in in jazz music as well, but as it stands, it's still a bit of a niche. It's mm. not very extended, so it's still very restricted to you know small circles. Like no, it, when you think of a violin, you, you you don't really hear a violin in in most scenarios. Perhaps in Scotland, it's a bit different because we have the fiddle tradition as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah. at the end of the day, that is still traditional music. Is is classical Scottish music? At the end of the day, so yeah, just, the, the violin is still struggling to find its place in modern music. I would say there is someone I think managed to sort of break into the well, I don't know mainstream, but definitely YouTube. I think, was it Lindsay Sterling? Yeah, it rings a bell. Yeah, she's the yeah, one that was played all these a few years ago. Some of her own tracks, some modern stuff, and then but then she's also like doing acrobatics almost like she's dancing. <laughs> on I know, I know. Like she's right. ice skating. So imagine like violin. imagine you speak to a fourteen year old and you're like, right, you need to learn the violin, play eight hours a day, and you need to learn how to jump off a fucking bridge and not die, so that you can be someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, jump through a ring of fire while you play, you know, Vivaldi. <laughs> yeah, no, because I was thinking like she's someone that I just occurred to me that she's been sort of creating her own stuff and playing some modern tracks. So that's like okay, so the violin is still very much like you know in the fight. It's not out yet, but you, it has to be reinvented almost. I, I think one of the reasons why she's managed to 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 create her own name, so to speak. It's because she does so much more around the violin. You know, she is basically doing inter like proper entertainment in every aspect of the world. It's yeah, not just yeah. the 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 sound, you know, is is visual, it's it's a full experience. And yeah. that's why I think she's she's made it. Um but if you only play and you don't do other forms of performance, you know. Uh, I still think it's a wee bit hard at the moment. Yeah, I mean, there's an idea for you. Just go the opposite way. Grumpy Spanish violin player and just stand there and look at the crowd and just... 
Is this right? <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 it could work. It could work. You never know. Yeah, you never. Know. Content. Try it. <laughs>